I've been following this case for the last few days since the video tape came out of the a young man being shot and killed down in Georgia. Yeah, Ahmaud Arbery. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And tonight, two of the assailants mm -hmm. have been arrested and charged mm -hmm. with felony murder. Mm -hmm. It really, you know, it took a video mm -hmm. being released by I don't know who and this public outcry for these two individuals to be arrested because this happened back in February. Yeah, yeah. And it was never a whodunit. Mm -hmm. The police knew, the prosecutors knew, but apparently there was this claim mm -hmm. of self-defense mm -hmm. that had been put forward and that was the alleged reason for their not having been an arrest until today. And I just want to speak on that okay. for a second because we've been talking about it. This 25-year-old young man was jogging in a neighborhood where he lives. Mm -hmm. When he was accosted by at least two individuals with guns, one had a shotgun and he had a reaction. Yeah. What are you supposed to do when you are approached and accosted by someone that you don't know? Mm -hmm. They could be a crazy person, a serial killer, a racist who just wants to kill you. Mm -hmm. You don't sure, know. You don't. What are you supposed to do? What is your reaction supposed to be? Mm -hmm. Because apparently that's where the self-defense claim comes from because he had a reaction. And whether that was not exactly clear from the videotape, whether it was trying to wrestle the gun away, but what ends up happening is they shoot him and kill him. Mm -hmm. And they say, we had to defend ourselves. That's so problematic because the notion that you can create this life or death situation for someone, and then they have a reaction to the circumstances that you've created, you shoot and kill them and then you get to claim you were forced to defend yourself irrespective of the fact that you're the one that created the danger. Mm -hmm. This young man had the right to claim self-defense. He yeah. was defending himself because what do you do when you're approached with someone with a gun, with a deadly weapon? So as we go forth with, I'm sure what's going to be a real case or hopefully a trial, mm -hmm. what approach? should we be taking as we're watching this? I think there's a bigger issue at stake here because of course this family wants justice, but what is justice for them? They can't uh -huh. get this young man back. That's right. That's but right. you have to look at the bigger picture, how we have created these circumstances with various version of stand your ground laws and citizens arrest and open carry laws, where we've basically given people the tools mm -hmm. to be judge, jury, and executioner in a moment's notice. Mm -hmm. And it's the black lives that continue to suffer mm -hmm. because in those circumstances, oftentimes we see very little accountability. Right. When the story works and the characters fit the part, it will continue to be told. Mm -hmm. It is time to change the ability to so easily construct this narrative. Yeah. Yeah. He looked like he was up to no good. So I followed him. I had my gun just in case. Then there was a confrontation. I ended up having to defend myself. He's dead. I'm alive. This is the story I'm telling. And here we are again, yeah. just like in Florida in 2013, just like in Georgia now.